Treating pregnant women who have cancer is complicated, and it can endanger the health of the mom or baby. But a recent study has some promising results. The study found that children were largely unaffected by in utero chemotherapy exposure. They also showed no long-term developmental or mental delays. We spoke with Dr. Sarah Temkin for some perspective on the study. Dr. Temkin is a gynecologic oncologist at the University of Maryland, and she wasn't involved in the study. When a young woman has cancer and is pregnant, it gives you um, a second patient to think about, um, which you not only need to think about the um, delivering optimal or the best possible cancer care to a, a woman, but also um, being mindful and respectful of her wishes re regarding her pregnancy. Um, and at times that, that means a patient um, chooses to terminate a pregnancy, um, or at times that means um, making sure that both the mother and the fetus are safe. The cancers that I take care of as a G1 oncologist, m the mainstay of, tr of surgical treatment is a hysterectomy, which is obviously not compatible with, um, with maintaining a pregnancy. Um, so in the cases where a woman, for instance, has cervical cancer and finds herself to be um, pregnant as well, uh, there are Diff, there are choices to be made in terms of the optimal timing of delivery versus uh, delivery of, of chemotherapy versus delivery of radiation. Um, and a woman cannot receive radiation or surgery to her pelvis at the same time as she carries um, carries a pregnancy. However, um, in the case of breast cancer, which was really nicely shown in one of the um, Lancet articles, a patient can safely receive um, surgery to her breast or uh, mastectomy even and, um, and also receive chemotherapy, which are the mainstays of treatment of that cancer. Interestingly, in the articles, they, in, the, in the Lancet articles, they talk about um, targeted therapies, which are really, I think, the, um, the new frontier in, in treating in cancer treatments. Um, and none of those treatments are really uh, right now compatible with um, pregnancy or safe to give during pregnancy. Um, and so uh, it's a little bit, I think, getting physicians to a point of, of comfort with delivery of um, cytotoxic chemotherapy um, in the pregnant patient and figuring out the optimal timing. I think this is really exciting that the, the researchers were able to show uh, the safety of chemotherapy in terms of um, not affecting um, development of the of, uh, fetus um, who's exposed to these drugs, which are obviously very toxic. Um, there were, however, some, um, there still remains a lot to be seen about cancer treatment in, in women who are pregnant. Um, a lot of these babies were born um, iatrogenically prematurely in order to be able to um, deliver optimal cancer treatment to the mothers, um, which did lead to, which does lead to um, problems in the newborns. Um, additionally, there were a number of women who had a delay to optimal cancer treatment or did not receive upfront optimal cancer treatment because they were pregnant and were opting to continue with a pregnancy while receiving cancer chemo, uh, chemotherapy for cancer or cancer treatment. A woman who's pregnant and has a cancer diagnosis needs a team of physicians um, to really go through all of the um, complexities of this this uh, care and that the the decisions around um, the pregnancy and the cancer treatment are really going to be very individual and um, dependent on the type of cancer the patient has as well as her, um, her, her own wishes regarding the pregnancy and her cancer treatment.